Welcome back to part 3 of today's lesson. In this video, we're going to do two things, okay? First thing we're going to do is we're going to add a background to it and a end game state or game over state where when the egg touches the ground or the bottom, it will trigger a game over state, okay? And the second thing we're going to do is we're going to count how many eggs that we're going to, that every time the boy catches, we're going to count how many eggs we have saved throughout the game, okay? So let's start with the easy one first. Click on the bottom right where there is the choose backdrop, okay? Right, scroll down just a little bit and look for the word farm, okay? Farm, all right? So we've got a boy with the farm, looks like it's, uh, at least it looks, uh, looks like it's in the right location with an egg falling down from the sky, okay? Now click on sorry click on the backdrop okay the stage the backdrop and then click on backdrops okay the first one the original backdrop which is the white color one we're going to delete it okay select that and click delete okay and then the farm we're going to duplicate the existing one and we're going to call it uh game over okay all right so uh, we're going to write the word the text Game over on the screen. All right, let's give it a white color font. Uh, drag it all the way to the left, and there we go. Okay, G A M E O V E R. All right, and we're gonna click here. We're gonna make this as big as we can. Uh, maybe that's big enough, and drag it right to the center. Okay, how's that? Looks good. Okay, so here is the normal when you're playing the game, and if the egg hits the floor, we're gonna have the game over background all right great okay let's go back to the egg sorry uh the code of the egg okay so what happened is when the egg touches the bottom we're going to change it to the broken eggshell all right as well as stop everything but over here we need to add one more uh event okay we're going to change we're going to add sorry we're going to add a broadcast message okay in this broadcast message, we're going to give it a give it a new name. We call we're going to call it the N message. Okay, basically when it triggers, we will change the egg to the broken uh, costume. We will broadcast an N signal. This N signal will be received by uh, Dorian, the bottom as well as the backdrop. Once we receive the N state, we will trigger a change of background. Okay, so now we're going to click on the stage, click on the backdrop. All right, we're going to use the uh, when start, when green or start is clicked, we're going to change the backdrop, switch the backdrop to the original one. So every time the game starts, we're going to start with the farm uh, backdrop. And then the second scenario we're going to have is when I receive the end state. Okay, this basically means when this sprite or this background receive an end state we want it to change to the game over backdrop okay great let's give it a go start eggs gonna fall catch the egg no problem now move to the side bam game over all right not too difficult easy to do basically when we start change it to the original background which is the farm and when you receive or when you have a trigger the end trigger we will switch to the game over state okay great now the second thing we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, the x saved okay so we're going to come to this thing called variable here orange color all right we're going to create a new variable let's just call it um sorry make variable here let's just call it saved s-a-v-e-d saved okay all right okay all right first thing we're going to do is we're going to define how many eggs we start the game with we're going to start the games with zero x save okay so it's going to set it here to set saved to zero okay so how do we trigger every egg saved whenever dorian catches an egg we need to increase the value by one okay so here we have a function called change drag this out okay basically we're going to set it to change saved by one okay what it means is every time it's triggered the value of the value of save will increase one so if it starts from zero the next time it triggers it's going to be one and then two and then three okay and when are we going to trigger this 
when Darren catches the egg. Okay. All right. So let's give it a go. Catches the egg. Saved one. Good. Two. Three. Okay. Let's just let it drop to the bottom. And then what's going to happen? Game ends. Stop all. Game over. Background appears. Great. So now, it, now it's the game is working. Uh, as it should okay a few more tiny things we're going to change this leak this egg actually looks a bit a bit big in my opinion okay let's use the looks okay we can use the change size if you can look at it here change size sorry set size okay let's set the egg size to half of the original size okay that half means 50 percent okay let's give it a go okay so the egg is now smaller looks uh more in relation to the boy looks a bit more correct the size okay my computer is lagging again after coding for maybe 10 minutes or five minutes my the browser seems to lag okay all right so we have a sort of completed the game but there are tasks that i want you kids to try to do okay so make sure your game is running fine as you see here now and then join me in the next video where i'll give you activities and tasks to complete all right i'll see you guys in the next video